Hello and welcome to Rachi Food. In this episode, I'm doing a very nice chaat recipe called the Bhel Puri. This is a very famous evening snack loved all over India. So let's take a look at the ingredients. Three cups puffed rice or kurbura, two boiled potatoes chopped, one tomato de-seeded and chopped, one onion finely chopped, coriander leaves, salt, lemon, raw mango finely chopped, red chilli powder, date and tamarind chutney, and coriander mint chutney, few sev puri puris, and sev. All these ingredients for bhel are generally available in all the Indian stores. Just in case you don't find the puri, you can use cracker biscuits. Or you can also just fry some tortillas and just break them into your bhel. First, I'm going to heat up some puffed rice in a pan. No oil, nothing. Just plain puffed rice or kurmura, and just keep stirring it for two minutes so they become nice and crunchy. The puffed rice has also changed in color a little bit, and now I'm going to remove this from this hot pan. Let the puffed rice or kurmura. Cool down completely and then store it in an airtight container. And you can store it for at least 15-20 days. This recipe is all about getting all the ingredients from your pantry and mixing everything together. So let's do that. So my puffed rice or my kurmura goes in. I'm going to put in all my dry ingredients first. Save puri. I'm just going to break it into small pieces. Some chopped onions, some chopped potatoes, coriander leaves. Red chilli powder to taste, salt just a little bit because the chutneys also have some salt. Lime juice. I've used two kinds of chutneys: the coriander mint chutney and the date and tamarind chutney. They're a little thick, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water and dilute them because it needs to coat the puffed rice properly. And just a little bit of salt since I've added some water. And now I'm just going to mix this well. If you like the flavor of garlic in your bhel, you can always add one clove of garlic in this chutney while grinding it. So it has to be this consistency. Let's add the date and tamarind chutney and the coriander mint chutney. Let's mix everything well. Don't add too much chutney from the beginning. Just add as much as you need that it coats all the puff rice or the kurmura well. I'm going to need a little more. The taste of bhel and all the flavorings that you add in is a very personal choice. So it's up to you whether you like it sweet, you like it spicy, so you can alter it to your taste. So let's plate it, but you have to serve this immediately because otherwise it's going to go soggy very quickly. I'm going to garnish it with a little more of the sev, crush a couple of puris, some chopped tomatoes, a little bit of coriander leaves. And I have some raw mango. It's optional if you have it, you can add some. It gives you a nice tangy taste. And again, a nice squeeze of some lemon juice. There are no rules to this recipe. You can always add anything that's handy. Like uh, if you have pomegranate, you have uh, cucumber, anything that you have, you can just throw it in and mix it and enjoy it. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.